This is one of my favorite trucks over here. I really, really love it. Once again, we are loading at a dock, and I'm going to have to blow my airbags up again, but we're not going to blow them out. We're just going to blow them up for a minute. Yes! Come on! Okay, we're loading it up. Come on. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Slow, slow, slow. You're looking good. All right, stop right there. I'm looking good. Looking good. Good, good job. All right. All right, I got all my chains run, everything right. I got everything ready to go. The, bo the box on the front's all strapped down. Oh my God. And what's the girl doing? Y'all wonder, wonder what the girl's doing? Cause she works, she does really good. But she is like low slip, sink ships. If she gets the chance, she's the kind of person that if you're in Walmart, she's gonna hold you up all day and talk. Talk, yak, yak, yak. And that's what she's doing right now. Yak, 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 yak. yak. She, she, she's spreading the love and all that good stuff. But that's all right. She's still gonna drive tonight. You're networking. networking. There you go. You keep it up, girl. Okay, well, we can get back to tomorrow, I guess. What are we getting back to tomorrow? Well, we gotta finish it off tomorrow. I don't think we've ever hauled so many things with wheels here, have we? We've never been in shops before. What's that about? Today, someone aired up the airbags a little bit without popping one. <laughs> Who's who's a proud got a proud moment today? Yeah, I don't I don't think it would have popped if it was driver. Are you saying that your airbag was faulty and you should have changed it anyway? Yeah. <sighs> Confessions of a slacker. Might be a new series. See, that's the dedication of the Southwest employee. Fixing the truck on the load. That's good stuff. Relax. Don't do it. Don't act if like I'm the drama queen here. That's oh. what he does when he turns the camera on. He acts like, oh, calm down, girl. You're the drama queen. You are. No. I have no. I have my mind setting on one one thing because it's TikTok. That's what his mind's on. TikTok. Titties. I'm over here working and he's like, TikTok, let's make videos. Or this or that or the other thing. And she's like, no, I gotta do this because she's got a single focused mind, which I dearly love. But I have to still lead this parade. What do you got there, girl? Crack cocaine. Cubano coffee. AKA crack cocaine. It's gonna make you talk funny. You're gonna be like going, Lorshi, I'm home. No, I'm going to be going so fast that you can't find me. Uh-oh. Baby, I'm pretty sure that your warp speed is still, like, quarter impulse power. Y'all, he says I have the metabolism of a slug. A dead slug. It's true. It's just true. <laughs> anyway, we have made it over here. He refused the little shot cups with it. So I hey, guys from Southwest, this. last night, we appreciate y'all loading us up and putting up with our shenanigans and everything. I was wonderful. He's bad. Ah, yeah, she's so right. But now we're up here at the other Southwest facility, which is actually a contractor facility, and we're going to unload here. And then, guys, we're going to be stuck for the weekend. Then I'm getting my nails done, she's eating get... Vietnamese. He might get a haircut, haircut, doing laundry, and then going to Walmart. Gosh, she's got my whole damn day planned You don't have out. to go with me. I'll take your truck, and I'll go by myself. Okay, anyway, I'm going with her, apparently, because it's my truck, right? So I'm going Oh, too. wait a minute. I misspoke. I'm taking my truck, <laughs> and I'm going. If you don't like it, you can take one of your motorbikes and go gallivanting around. Not today. It, it's Friday. The traffic's going to be... So bad. ...bad out down here. I'm I'm, I'm going to unload one, but I figure... Uh, there's a rollback. It's all right. Oh, no, it's not a rollback. It's a flatbed. It's flatbed. She thinks she knows everything, guys. But anyway, I'm going to unload a motorcycle, and uh, 
if, it, if the weather's good, I hope it's going to be good. Touch me. Touch I ain't me. touching you. Poking my finger in your eye, that'll be the touching you get. It's all going to be good, guys. It's Miami. I mean, it's still right after Election Day. I don't know at this point if the world's going to come to an end because of the whole Trump... Just Trump, an FYI. You know, who knows? I used a felt tip marker because that's what they gave me. I know, but now we got to find... I don't know if they know. we got to find out... Did my vote count? we got to find out which voting machines Illinois had. Not Chicago either, mm -hmm. Southern Illinois, so you know ours are probably if you had ancient, the, archaic If ones. you had the old voting machines from two years ago, then the felt tip marker did not count. If you had the new voting machines, the felt tip marker should have counted. But who knows what you had. Well, it's Illinois, so there's so much fraud in that it is rampant, but you wouldn't think Southern Illinois would be as big of a participant in it. I really hope this is in the future. I'm in the past. Time travel's confusing. Right. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. So when you're watching this, you're going to know how it finally came out. Maybe. Right? It could be a mess. It don't matter. I mean, it does matter. It matters hugely. But in, in, in the in the small scheme of things, but it's you know just what? another day this in paradise. This is kind of like Illinois politics going nationwide. Worldwide. Nationwide, right. Yeah. Because this is exactly it has like been, that. I have said for years that the feds need to come in and clean up Illinois because who's going to do it? They ain't going to do it themselves. Well, I really didn't mean to take this video in this direction, but you know what? Since we're here, if you guys have looked at the election maps, it's very disturbing to me. I mean, it's all about population, right? And the population, who gets the votes in the population areas. But it's upsetting to me that people in cities... And I'm, I'm just generalizing this. I'm not talking about everybody in these cities because, it, you know, it's not that way. But the ones in these cities that make policy that affects everybody out here. And the people you out here... You have the far east coast and the far west coast that affect the 3,000 miles between. in between. And, the and have no regard for us or no clue how we live or anything else. And our life isn't like their life. No. That a lot of those folks look down on us as inbred Hicks, um, they, they call us names and everything, but now we don't do that to them. We, we might think that they're, they're stupid for living in a dumpster, but we don't disparage them in any way, right? They have their value. We don't have any value to them, but we feed them. We clothe them. We do everything to make their cities life. Cities aren't self-sufficient. And we make money off of them. We do. But if the cities got walled off tomorrow and, and we was left to, to our own devices, we may not make as much as much money as we we've made previously, but we can still eat some chickens and cook and make some. You know, we can still grow stuff. We'll be we have we'll be fine. With peppers and onions and tomatoes. Right, but it's it's really upsetting that, that their politics controls our life. Yeah, New York City, California, which for the most part is just a giant city until you get up north. And then what? Chicago and a few other big cities decide for everybody, y'all. The county seat in our county has, what, 7,000 people? The county seat in the next town over has like 1,000. Right. Literally. I mean, yet you have people in New York City that have no, or Chicago or wherever, that have no concept of what we do. No, not nothing. They just, they just laugh at us. Laugh at all of us. It doesn't even matter if, if in the long run a lot of us make a lot more money than they do. They still laugh at us because we don't dress flashy or run around, you know, all of us. It, it, we just, we're just people. We were talking about this the other day about it's like money-wise and stuff. I know two different sets of, of grown adults, right? One set has new cars, gets stuff done to their house, and and whatever. They're wearing name brand stuff or whatever. Great so credit score, right? I'm sure, wonderful credit score. Probably and I'm sure 800. If you walked around and seen them in Walmart, you would think that they had some money. Now, I know somebody else that has property that has is retired, and they had to pay taxes, and they had to reconfigure their Social Security well, account. They got, it they got several million in, in, in 401ks and Roths and all this other they stuff. They have retired, <laughs> and they're just normal country folks, right? Like me, right? Yeah, yeah, he, he's walking around with a ratty hat like that, and, and you know... he. What they take out of their retirement accounts, they try and put back in other accounts because they don't even need it. They don't it. need the money. 
But if you saw them, they're wearing a flannel jacket from Walmart and blue jeans and a t-shirt and driving a 10-year-old vehicle. You don't know who has money. And they have more money than... But I personally believe that, yeah. that, that the people that do have money, and if they didn't... Most of them aren't flashy If they didn't it. inherit that money, then they did something right. And, you know, they did something right. And the, and the guy over there looking like he's got all the money that don't have no money, he ain't done nothing right because it's about appearance and not about life. I got a big flashy truck. Son of a bitch. Oh, we do have I'm an oxymoron. We have a giant luxury truck. But if you look at the realm of normal people, is a shower and toilet really luxury? To me, it is. Well, it is for truck drivers, but everybody has at least one, if not two or three of them in their houses. Right. Considering this is where we live. Now, if it affected you paying your other bills, that'd be different. Oh, yeah. That, but that it would, doesn't. That if it work. affected you saving money for the future, for retirement or whatever, that'd be different. Right. Y'all want to see what I got on today? Let's go outside and have a look. They're at lunch, so we got time Can to. Can we call them and tell them we're here? Okay. All right. They'll tell us when they're coming. Drink your coffee, Garth. Garth? <laughs> that will kill you. Oh, no. Yeah, get it. All right, now they're going to unload our stuff here. They already unloaded the cart on the top deck. There goes the baggage conveyor. It looks like it's going to fit. A uh, little, little bit more. You can do it. You can do it. Get it running start. Don't go through the back of the record. Roll back. It's a roll back. All right, I know. There we go. We got lifts. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh-oh. There she goes. Good job. Way to go. You sure look mighty cute today. I look mighty cute every day. That's not true. I've seen you. Oh, my God. Y'all hear the abuse I put up with? Sometimes you... Do not coordinate at all. You, you'll run around in in your fuzzy slippers. That's my house. I can run a around towel. in fuzzy slippers in my house. And when I get out of the shower, this I is can a, run around in a this towel. is a recording studio. Oh my gosh! I have no moment of privacy. None. Well, this is the end of our week, guys. It was not a spectacular week. We only did about ninety eight hundred dollars to the truck, but you know. Sometimes you got them fabulous weeks and sometimes you don't. Let's get it off. Oh, slow down, slow down, oh, slow down. Drop, drop the deck a little bit. There we go. Go job. Vinny, Vinny, all right. Viva! Say goodbye, everybody. The robot has done his job. This is the end. Or uh, whatever you say to that, right? It's all done. Bye-bye.